Hey everybody, this is Wes Fleming from Chasing the Horizon, a podcast by, for, and about motorcyclists, and you're watching Amen Moto. Jeep! How's it going, folks? How's everybody doing today? Oh, what a drag. I could turn left at this light, but I can't sneak through. What a drag. What a bummer. What a drag. Sup, buddy? That's harsh, dude. All right, we'll go straight. Having missed the chance to go lefty. We're not going to go lefty-loosey. We're going to go righty-tighty. We're going to go straighty-weighty. Contact! We'll just have to sneak Sally through the alley over here. Find our other way around. I can't find my way home. Turn left on Sunset Strip here. Down at the Sunset Strip. There's a new song by Don Henley. Down at the Sunset Strip. You guys remember that song, Sunset Grill? The Sunset Grill. Down at the Sunset Grill by Don Henley. You know, believe it or not, that was one of the first songs I ever had on CD. One of the first albums, but it starts off with these gigantic keyboard horns that start off really, really loud. Da, 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 da. So loud, oh my gosh, crank that thing up on the CD player. Because when you're young, that's how you can tell if a CD player is any good, is, is it loud? I think maybe the second thing I ever bought for CD might have been like Cinderella. Remember there was a Cinderella album with Nobody's Fool? Hey, you can turn right on red in Florida. Come on, Holmes. Come on, man. Get off your stick shifter. Let's go. What's the point of having an automobile if you're not going to mobile your auto? That didn't make any sense. Let's see, what else was some of the early CDs I got? For a while, every time you walked into a record store or a CD, every time you walked, not a record store, every time you walked into a, um, a stereo shop, a place where you'd buy a stereo, they were always playing the George Michael album on CD. The one, you know, that had like uh, Father Figure, Faith, Faith, Faith. And I mean, not for nothing, but that, that album sounded really good on a nice stereo system. That was a very good demonstration of your stereo had a very wide dynamic range. I think I need new gloves. These Velcros, man. They look like snaps, but they're just Velcros, and they're just lame. They don't work as good anymore. Why do they put these fake snaps on? I guess it's more convenient to take them on and put them on, but Velcro don't last forever. I like the gloves. They're nice leather gloves. They feel nice. They got these armored knuckles that you're probably not supposed to really have. I've heard that, like, if you get in a really bad crash, those armor will get like embedded in your hand or something I don't I don't know man oh there's a bug inside my visor that's cool that's always exciting when there's a little bug crawling around on the inside of your visor go away bug ah! nobody invited you and then there's some music that I owned on vinyl and then got on cassette tape when on cassette tapes became popular and then bought on CD again. I, think I uh, had bought all the Van Halen stuff on vinyl and then started getting it on cassette and definitely Dire Straits. I, think I bought that stuff like three times, probably four times when you consider buying the album for digital download before you know streaming music really became the way to go. Slowly but surely the audio quality gets just a little worse every time we change the technologies to LP sounds great, cassettes kind of alright, CD everything's all like smashed then you start downloading it, digital download in a high bit rate which is okay but then now streaming is like I don't know low bit rate or something I don't know I don't pay attention to that stuff I'm not one of them audio fills Sorry to let you down. I'll tell you what I had a lot of. Even after CDs became a thing, I had a lot of picture um, LPs. Picture vinyl. Remember, they were they were printing photographs and stuff and artwork on the LPs. So I'd buy a... Man, I was buying picture LPs, collecting them, when I didn't even have a record player anymore. I didn't have anything to play the music, but I, I would see a really cool LP or... EP on vinyl that had like artwork 
I was a sucker for nice graphically treated vinyl. Gas prices are coming down right now. That gas station over there says two twenty nine a gallon, but I got it for two bucks a gallon yesterday. I went to that Wawa. It was like two dollars a gallon or something, man. It'd be fun to watch this video in thirty years. Everybody's gonna be like, two dollars a gallon? What? Ah, oh, that was a hiccup. It's very difficult to moto vlog when you have a hiccup. All right, Farmer Joe, I know it's a school zone, but you don't have to go down to two miles an hour. There you go, jerky. Moving on over. Now the challenge when you're in a school zone and you stop at a red light in the school zone is when the light turns green, the habit is going to be to go normal speed. And I'm going to have to remember this is a school zone. When this light turns green, don't just go I'm flying out of here. Mustang, Sally! This is one of those intersections with an extra lane that just lasts slightly through the intersection. Kind of allows traffic to sort of flow a little bit smoother through the intersection, I think. Tamarack City Hall! Why do they call it the Municipal Complex? Why can't they just say City Hall? I do not get that. Tamarack's a funny city. It's almost all residential. Anytime something starts to get a little bit too built up and commercial, they actually, like, seed that section off to some other town. They don't want to be commercial and stuff, man. It's super easy, hardly an inconvenient. Well, thanks for riding along with me. I won't bore you with the details. Don't bore us. Get to the chorus. Thanks for riding along with me. I appreciate your company. It helps the ride go better. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. I'll try and get around this bus. That's a possibility. I'll see you guys later.